This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I answer a question about how to catalog and find media files. The folks at Belfast Local Television ask, we have several hundred programs from which we would like to create a database or catalog, integrated into the files themselves, not an external file. For example, the name of the program, the year produced, description, length, contributors, format, etc. We found Clipstart, which is easy to use, but the maker no longer supports it. In fact, it hasn't been supported since 2016. Do you have any thoughts? There's multiple answers here. The first is, I think it's a forlorn hope to be able to write metadata into the, the movie file, the media file itself. And the reason is I talked with a couple of people that write this software. There is so much potential metadata, literally hundreds of fields, that there's no easy way, nor is there a standard way, that this could be written into the file. We can do a little bit, but we really can't do a lot. I found two programs that I want to recommend to you. A very easy to use program is ImageGest, and a much more extensive program, especially if you do collaboration, is Kino. Let me illustrate both. ImageGest is a program that I used when I was writing my book, and I enjoy it a great deal. It starts very simply. Let's just add a folder by clicking up here and say Add Folder. And I've got a Pond5 folder, which has got a bunch of media in it. So let's just go find Pond5. And inside Pond5, it's been separated into a variety of different categories. So I'm going to click Open. And this quickly, it adds the clips, both still and video, into the program. If I wanted to take a look at a particular clip, simply highlight it, hit the space bar, and Quick View allows you to see the clip. What makes it really powerful, and this can handle tens of thousands of clips across multiple folders, is that it inherits the folder names as metadata for the clip. So you can say, show me all of the bears that are here, or show me all the predators, or show me all the kids, or show me all the adults, or show me all the animals. I mean, it doesn't get faster than that. And I've had hundreds of files in here, and the find is equally quick. It's very fast. Where it gets really powerful, though, is when you go to the toggle the view. We have all this metadata, and if we if we control click here, we can see that it's tracking the date that it was added, the date that it's created, two note fields, which I'll get into in a second, pixel height and width. So you've got all this information. And if I select this and go to set note, there are two note fields, note one and note two. So you could say this is a description of the show, this is the director, this is the year it was created. And when you click find, which is the find command here, command F, it will find across all metadata, text across all note fields, and it will then display the results. And we can toggle back and forth between thumbnails and the list view. The good news is it's a $4 program available in a Mac app store. It's called Image Chest. I've been using it for six months, and the developer and I have had many conversations. And if you want something which is fast and simple, this is a program that I recommend. Another program that I recommend, if you need something which is much more sophisticated, and especially if you need collaboration, it's this one. It's called Kino, K-Y-N-O. The website is kyno.software. So let's go to Shared Assets. These are the devices on the left. And let's take a look at my training media. So I'm going to collect a folder here. This is multiple terabytes of data, and inside it, our folders and inside the folders are more folders. When you click the drill down option, it shows you all the different files that are here. I mean, there's literally thousands of files and it's creating thumbnails this quickly in real time and it allows me to, to view the thumbnails. Now within that, I can start to sort stuff or filter it. I'm gonna filter it by rating. I wanna have a, a, all clips whose rating is at least three stars or all clips whose rating is at least four stars, or all clips whose rating is at least five stars. Or I want to filter this by file size, the date that it's created, the folder that it's stored in. You can see all the different options here. Well, let's go back to three stars here, double click it. I can now view the individual media file. I can add a title, 
I can add descriptions, I can add real and scene numbers, I can add all this stuff, go back to here, and let's go back to this. Let's say that I want to take these three clips that I've found them, I can control click on it, and I can send those clips to Premiere, or I can send it to DaVinci Resolve, or I can send it to Final Cut, and with an extension which is available from Kino, you can also send it to Avid Media Composer, and all the metadata will travel with it. So let me just send this to Final Cut, because I've got that running, and we're going to name this Exports, and we'll leave the files in place, we'll take all the metadata with us and send it to Final Cut. It now opens the file inside Final Cut, and notice I've got the library, Ask Larry Anything, running. I want to open an open library. It creates that new export file. There's the barn, and if we go to the inspector and look at the metadata, let's do one we looked at. There's the city woman. It has the name. It has the notes field brought in. It has the reel, which I added in Kino. It has the scene number, which I added in Kino. And I can have multiple people all in the Kino database at the same time, metadata and tagging all of our different programs, and have this file available. You can export the data from both Image Chest and Kino so that you can load it up into an Excel spreadsheet for protection should you ever need to, so your data is not trapped in a proprietary format. You can get it all out later. So just in terms of things to think about, I recommend these two programs, and I've used both. I've used them a lot. I like them a lot. Image Chest is Mac only. Kino is Mac and Windows. Bill Rabkin asks, does Image Chest copy images into its chest, or does it simply record a pointer to images where they're stored? And Bill, it records a pointer. It doesn't copy any of the data. All the metadata is stored inside the Image Chest file, which you can save anywhere. But the images are linked to. They are not imported. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete list of all of our training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store. And by the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library can save you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.